Hey guys, my name is Marcel and this is Ernie Racing News reporting live from Burton. Burton, British Columbia. I'm on the road heading up to the cusp next before doing more of the Slocan such as New Denver and oh, you know, down to Slocan and Nelson and all around down to Rock Creek. So I have a story for you guys. 39 years ago, a KGB defector chillingly predicted modern America. It's a disturbing interview given by a KGB defector in 1984 where it describes America of today and outlines the four stages of mass brainwashing, brainwashing used by the KGB. In 1954, early on in the Cold War, the Soviet Union created the Committee for State Security, more commonly known in the West as the KGB. The group came to oversee the Soviet Union's internal security, secret police, and domestic and foreign intelligence operations. Across the world, the KGB did whatever it could to thwart pro-Western and anti-Soviet Soviet political movements and figures. The group would assassinate political leaders with cyanide and other weapons. It would fund and arm leftist groups, especially those in developing nations. And the KGB successfully established moles in the USA intelligence agencies through the exact number, though the exact number still isn't and may never be known for sure. Also unclear were the group's long-term plans involving the U.S. One glimpse, however, comes from a former KGB agent named Yuri Alexandrovich Bezmenov, who defected to Canada in 1970. He claimed to know details of a Soviet plan to undermine the U.S., not on the battlefield, but in the psyche of the American public. In 1984, Bezmenov gave an interview to G. Edward Griffin, from which much can be learned today. His most chilling point was that there's a long-term plan put in play by Russia to defend America through psychological to defeat America through psychological warfare and demoralization. It's a long game that takes decades to achieve, but it may already be bearing fruit. Bezmenov made the point that the work of the KGB mainly does not involve espionage, despite what our popular culture may tell you or tell us. Most of the work, 85% of it, was a slow process, process which we call either ideological subversion, active measures, or psychological warfare. What does that mean? Bezmenov explained that most striking thing about ideological subversion is that it happens in the open as a legitimate process. You can see it with your own eyes, he said. The American media would be able to see it if it just focused on it. Here's how he further defines ideological subversion. What it basically means is to change the perception of reality of every American to such an extent that despite of the abundance of information, no one is able to come to sensible conclusions in the interest of defending themselves, their families, and their community, and their country. Bezmenov described this process as a great brainwashing that has four basic stages. The first stage is called demoralization, which takes from 15 to 20 years to achieve. According to the former KGB agent, that is the minimum number of years it takes to re-educate one generation of students that is normally exposed to the ideology of its country. In other words, the time it takes to change what the people are thinking. He used the examples of 1960s hippies coming to positions of power in the 1980s in the government and businesses of America. Bezmenov claimed this generation was already contaminated by marxist leninist values. Of course, of course this claim may that many baby boomers are somehow espousing KGB tainted ideas is hard to believe. But Bezmenov's larger point addressed why people who have been gradually demoralized are unable to understand that this has happened to them. Referring to such people, Bezmenov said, They are 
programmed to think and react to contain stimuli in a certain pattern, alluding to Pavlov. You cannot change their mind even if you expose them to authentic information. Even if you prove that white is white and black is black, you still cannot change the basic perception and the logic of behavior. Demoralization is a process that is irreversible. Besmanov actually thought back in 1984 that the process of demoralizing America was already completed. It would take another generation and another couple of decades to get the people to think differently and return their patriotic American values, claimed the agent. In what is perhaps the most striking passage in the interview, here's how Besmanov described the state of demoralized person, of a demoralized person. Smarter, faster. The Big Think newsletter subscribed for counterintuitive, surprising, and impactful stories delivered to your inbox. Okay, let's get rid of that. So, as I mentioned before, exposure to true information does not matter anymore, said Besmanov. A person who was demoralized is unable to assess true information. The facts tell nothing to him. Even if I shower him with information, with authentic proof, with documents, with pictures, even if I take him by force to the Soviet Union Union and show him a concentration camp, he will refuse to believe it until he receives a kick in his fan bottom. When a military boot crashes his balls, then he will understand, but not before that. That's the tragedy of the situation of demoralization. It's hard not to see in that the state of many modern Americans. It's hard not to see in that the state of many modern Americans, we have become a society of polarized tribes, with some people flat out rejecting facts in favor of narratives and opinions. Once demoralization is completed, the second stage of ideological brainwashing is destabilization. During this two to five year period, asserted Besmanov, what matters is the targeting of essential structural elements of a nation, economy, foreign relations, and defense systems. Basically, the subverter, Russia, would look to destabilize every one of those areas in the United States, considerably weakening it. Weakening it. This third stage would be a crisis. It would take only up to six weeks to send a country into crisis, explained Besmanov. The crisis would bring a violent change of power, structure, and economy, and will be followed by the last stage of normalization. That's when your country is basically taken over, living under a new ideology and reality. This will happen to America unless it gets rid of people who bring it into a crisis, warned Besmanov. What's more, if people will fail to grasp the impending danger of that development, nothing ever can help the United States, adding, you may kiss goodbye to your freedom. It bears saying that when he made this statement, he was warning about baby boomers and Democrats of the time. In another somewhat terrifying excerpt, here's what Benimov had to say about what is really happening in the United States. It may think it is a peace living in peace, but it has been actively at war with Russia and for some time. Quote, Most of the American politicians, media, and educational system trains another generation of, of people who think they are living at the peacetime, said the former KGB agent. False. United States is in a state of war, undeclared, total war against the basic principles and foundations of the system. Yeah, so there you have it, guys. Um, just a little excerpt from Besmanov's 1984. Can you imagine he said all this in 1984? The secret war has never ended, guys. We've been in it this whole time, and people like you and me didn't even know about it until COVIDism hit. And now I see it all, and I can never go back to the Matrix. Ernie Racing News, July 7th, 2023.